And this is Dylan for LuminateGamer.com, and we are going to give you a little taste of the Call of Duty Ghost campaign. Outside the wall, their reputation lingered over no man's land like a shroud of fear. A weapon far more effective than brass or steel. Merrick and Keegan, these were the men Dad had spoken of. The ghosts. And someone dared to go against them. They were headed to San Diego. Federation territory. To find their man Ajax. Ghosts. We'd only imagined them. Now, we were determined to be... So, early on in the story here, um... Uh, two brothers, uh, are... Devastated, you know, the, the world's devastated by destruction, or at least... America. Everybody gets pissed off, turns on America. And... The two sons who have always been... Involved with the military because of their father... Um, you know, I kind of basically on the run. Like, there ain't many people left that are doing good deeds, at least as far as America's concerned. You see the guy with the mask on is a ghost. And uh, their dad had told a bunch of stories about these elite soldiers that, you know, kind of rose up and were always in the shadows and fought for the good of America. And these two brothers, Hesh and Logan, uh, yeah, the one guy's named Hesh, I don't know, uh, they, uh, they came across the ghosts and they're like, hey, we want to help these guys, we want to be a part of it, because they're kind of badass. Here they come, tag the trucks. That's it. So we're going to tag these trucks. When the world goes to hell, this is how you tag things. No spray painting on the side of walls. You tag stuff for the purpose. Convoy clear. Let's move. So there's Riley. The much talked about Call of Duty dog. Riley wants in, man. That's the way dogs are. Love going for car rides. What? Ah, oh, rub his ear. Good boy. We like to call him a good boy, you know, reassure like he would your dog. And uh, but they like to do it with Riley when he uh, rips someone's throat out. Which uh, this is an interesting uh, thing to call someone a good boy for. So this is the Xbox One version. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hell's breaking loose up here. Gosh. See Call of Duty, famous for their uh, set piece moments in the campaign. You don't have to do much. I'm trying to shoot. I didn't really need to. This didn't help me. So when you got Riley out, left bumper, when the guy goes orange, you can go Riley, LB. Oh, 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 Riley's bailing. He's not ready. Okay, great. Oh, no, there he is. You got him. He's tearing him up. Kill him. Up there, look at that. Sneaker. Uh, I got to. Let's see if I can get Riley to attack someone there. Riley, go after this guy now. Grenade for him. Riley's eating him, and they got grenades. It's bad news for these dudes. So yeah, it's all about the Federation versus the Ghost. And the Federation, like I said, is basically like everyone. 
from what I've gathered, this is early on. I have not played this mission. I'm giving you a fresh live look here. Oh, I, I should be using this. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's early on. Uh, but basically, it's like everybody just decided, hey, we're going to bitch slap North America. Because South America seems like they're against us. And everybody in South America and everywhere else in the world. Um, these guys are a couple California kids. And so this is all pretty much around California. Really on in the game, there's an Odin strike. Uh, which you see in space, and it basically hits right by your home. Alright, alright, I yelling at me, so. Um. So I'm not completely sure how the rest of America necessarily looks at this point. You know, it's very much a. These two brothers and their dad, you know, being hit right in the heart, right in their home. This should be where they're holding Ajax. Check it out with a remote sniper. But I imagine the rest of the place ain't doing great. But this is where the direct Use the remote sniper. Odin strike really got hit. Reach on your shot. On you. Oh, son of a bitch. Some of my guys, really? Check it out with it really, okay, well, whatever. I'll say I did it. Breach on your shot. I'll shoot the guy over here, then. Blame me for him. Easy enough, easy enough. Look at Riley. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know what he is. So Keegan, he's one of the ghosts. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, see, the ghosts don't play. So. He just got his, his list. His throat slit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use the remote sniper to clear those RPGs. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Oh, they're right over here. Is that it? It won't let me back out. Oh, there we go. This guy says there's more guys over here. All clear. Stick with Riley. He'll lead us to Ajax. So yeah, the Xbox One version, it looks, you know, it looks okay. Um, it's certainly when you, like, look at, like, <clears throat> uh, and on 360 PS3, it certainly looks better on uh, Xbox One PS4, uh, obviously, as well as PC. Um, Probably a dozen guys total. It's not like, you know, this amazing next-gen showcase. Oh, I got my gas mask on. Uh is certainly a cross-gen game, you know, a game built with current and known it will sell more on current gen. Uh, but it looks way more clear and uh, vivid on uh, next gen. For some reason, I actually think what I've seen of the current gen version actually looks terrible. Which is weird. It's like this ain't like this is a good look. It looks, oh, you know, it's a clear upgrade. But the current gen, what I've seen is like it looks like this. There's just dirt over everything. Just a bunch of crud on everything. Like they're covering up the faults. They don't want you to see too far in the distance. So yeah, it's not a. This isn't trying to be the best looking game on the market. But uh. If you get a next-gen console and you happen to like Call of Duty, certainly are worth the upgrade. If you bought it on current gen, you can upgrade for 10. If you didn't buy it, then you can just buy it outright. 
Shoot dudes. Yeah. Shoot a lot of dudes. This guy, look at this guy, still straggling. Let's go try to knife somebody. Oh. Worked. I almost got myself killed, but it worked. Ooh, Riley. Ooh, ooh, see? They always go for the throat. I didn't. They didn't. They're not showing that there. But I got a fascination with wrecking throats. This thing. Porno up in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man, this is too dark. I can't see dick. San Diego. I wonder if it's recording. It looks like it looks a little brighter because I'm looking at my capture, my little recording capture, on my other screen, and it actually looks brighter on that. Uh, that's probably just because my PC monitor is set brighter. I can't stand here. Oh! See, these, this is where the ghosts are showing their stuff. Sneaking. Stabbing. Like I said, at this point, your character, Logan, he is the younger brother of Hesh. I believe that's the way it is. And uh, they are not part of the ghosts at this point. I do not believe, anyway, unless we get confused, because it can get a little wacky in Call of Duty. Campaign. Right now, it seems like they really just want to be with the ghosts. They, they came across them, and they're like hanging out with them, like, hey, we know your dad. Our dad's really cool. Can we hang out with you? And they're like, yeah, sure. I think I shot my dude in the arm. That room got cleared out pretty good. This is indeed the regular difficulty. Just started, uh, just started playing it tonight and figured I'd do a recording and... <coughs> I don't want to go too hard and gotta keep this thing moving. But it is pretty easy, it probably could. Even if you don't want to go with hard in battle, you probably could be... I mean, veteran, you could probably put in a hard in. Come on, hang in there, Ajax! He's gone. Damn it. This mission has been kind of about rescuing Ajax. Get him ready to move. It's a kill list. He is a ghost. Rourke's targeting ghosts. Well, who the hell is Rourke? No time to explain, kid. We're coming in. We need to move. You can hear. Rourke is targeting ghosts. We have not been introduced to Rourke at this point in the story. The boys did okay, but you need to get back to L.A. now. Logan, thin him out with the remote sniper! Alright, alright. Those are right out of here. We'll take the one on the far side of the field. Take out those LMGs! It's clear! Go, go, go! Cover us! Get us cover fire! Sniping fools! You are welcome. We're good. Now get yourselves home. All right, leave it. Riley. Will do. Get myself home. Oh, look at Riley. Whoa. I was just like gonna hop on that plane. I didn't think about people shooting me. And this is Call of Duty. People are gonna shoot you. All right, all right, all right. I want to get shot. Covers with the remote sniper so we can take off. Oh my God, the remote sniper. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Here's your dad. Something bad's happening at the home base. They all home. Soldiers recovered their fallen before, but not like these men. There was a reverence to how the ghosts treated Ajax. The exact opposite of how he must have died. If this man Rourke had killed him, he'd taken his time. Now he was actually hunting the ghosts. But here. Once again, the Federation was attacking us, and we were headed into the chaos. And somewhere in the middle of that battle was our father. We had to find him. All righty. Alright, we're leaving live with Riley behind, but that is where we are going to call this video. Uh, that was one whole mission, so I think that certainly qualifies as a little taste. So just to give you guys an idea about the Call of Duty Ghost campaign. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of Call of Duty Ghosts and many other games, please subscribe to our channel. And in the description below you'll find links to illuminagamer.com our podcast our twitch channel our twitter our facebook anything you could think of so thanks for watching